We're in Charlevoix, Michigan. We have one simple slogan, the beautiful. We are on our way to Ferry Beach in Charlevoix, driving down this beautiful road with all these huge hedges so you can't see the houses. But the houses are up on the hill, so it kind of defeats that purpose. But it's right around the lake, so it's really pretty. It's a very beautiful area here in Charlevoix. And we have arrived at Ferry Beach Park. We're gonna get out and take a look. All right. I already said that. Now this beach area overlooks Charlevoix Lake, which is much, much larger than Round Lake, which is right at the heart of uh, downtown Charlevoix. A lot of boats here as well. Have a family of ducks enjoying the day. A couple of them are sleeping. That was our brief look at Ferry Beach. We're moving on. We've got about an hour as of this recording before we're going to dinner. So we're going to go find some other places to look at. It's a little windy still, a little chilly but at least it's not raining. All right, here's Veterans Park in downtown Charlevoix. We're uh, waiting to have our dinner. They don't take reservations so when we got there. They said it's about an hour to an hour and a half wait. So we're gonna go ahead and wait. But while I'm doing that, let's take a look at this memorial. It's a very unique stone and brick walkway. to see but there is at the top old glory American flag hard to read those names as well but it says these trees in this park are dedicated as a living memorial to the heroes from this vicinity who gave their lives while serving in the cause of freedom and liberty during times of war and peace and it goes on from there and there's people from Vietnam Korea, World War II. It's quite an extensive list. Hopefully, if you know somebody from this area, you had a chance to see their names. Let's take a look at the other side. Oh, same thing. It says... Power switch for the light, and nothing on this side. So it's a very nice park. Down in a little bit of a valley. And the marina's over here, where the ferry comes in and out. That's uh, Main Street. we we'll take a look at that probably tomorrow. And Terry's Restaurant that we're going to have dinner, right there. We're going to take a walk down to the lake area, but there's a band shell here with a live band playing. But before we go, there's a couple more of these interesting historical society signs. So if anybody wants to read them, this is the south shore of Round Lake. And the development of East Park. the band
Standing in the holy crowd. They have a very clever bike rack that looks like a bike. One side, Charlevoix with the famous bridge. The other side is the lighthouse. And let's give proper credit. It's very clever. It's the uh, villager pub. And uh, again, if you're looking for a job, we're going to Terry's of Charlevoix for dinner. All right, so we got seated at Terry's. Quick look at the menu. And I have decided on the New York Strip. No wine for me today. And well, that's just the wine list. I think I'm going to go with the baked potato. And uh, we'll see how it uh, how it looks when it gets here. And so Lisa went with the perch on the beans. Got some green beans, sweet potato. I opted for that New York strip with the green beans and the baked potato. And some type of adventurous sauce. I don't know what that is, but we'll give it a little try. All right, we tried the. Uh, the sauce and it's not for me it's kind of mustardy so let's just take the uh, steak the steak was very good I don't know if you can hear my wife's comments but uh, she makes some comments every now and then My uh, good hotel morning breakfast. Oh, thank you. And so, who doesn't love a train? Charlevoix, at one point, had a train station. Well, they still have the train station, but unfortunately, trains don't come by this way anymore. But that's information about the station itself. And there's the beautiful restored station. It's got some nice gardens around it. And as you can see, it came in along the waterfront here. So it's a beautiful location. And it's a beautiful old station. And just for fun, they simulated railroad tracks. Although they're worn out with time. <laughs> That's what they look like, and that's where the train would stop at this beautiful station. It's quite large, actually. Had uh, shelters on either side while you were waiting. A nice ticket booth. Freight area. Roof needs a little bit of restoring there. Take a look at the back, where you'll see the nice garden that they made. That's 
very nice. Very peaceful. And just to sit and relax. Wait for the train. Fall asleep because the train never comes and you have nothing else to do. And the non-track side of the station. That beautiful entrance. Freight cars. Another relaxing bench. That was a little bit of off the station. Can't really see inside. I looked in a few windows, but it looks like all they have in there is what beginning of a display they're going to be setting up. Some old trunks, shipping trunks, that type of thing. Look at the garden, the station at the side. And with the train station is this nice, relaxing park right on Lake Charlevoix, which is very peaceful. There's three deer, family of deer, it looks like mama, daddy, and a baby. They were crossing the road, and they've come to a white picket fence. Oop, and that's not going to stop them. Oof, look at that, even the baby. That was very cool. Traffic is heavy at the moment, but this is downtown Charlevoix. They're having a uh, sidewalk sale, so you can see a lot of clothing out. We're coming up to the bridge. The ferry is not in town, so it's got to be over at Beaver Island or to and from it. Here's the famous drawbridge in Charlevoix, Michigan. You know how I love bridges. around Charlotte White sidewalk sale. It's for my sister the math teacher. like that one. Zoltar is looking over the store. Got some tarot cards, some gold coins. Plus Murdoch's Fudge. Cute little cooking bears. That's the uh, directory sign that they have two places. It's one of the alleyways. And they have, uh, although they have the sidewalks, they only have a giant chest up that goes here. They're tucked away. Bella's Pizzeria. 
Barracks. Harbor Grill. More sidewalks. Here. Take the fast route by going in a blocked off road. It's a very nice downtown area. Another one of those towns that's well worth a lot to see, friendly people, and it's a beautiful town. Alright, in my love for great murals, here's the one inside of the Rexhall Drugs Toronto one. Take a close look at it and then we'll go across the street. That's got everything that Toronto Boys known for. There's the bridge, and there's Logan again. The beautiful. Go across the street, take a full look. All right, so do note the mushroom house and the beautiful mural, but why they always plant trees in front, I will never know. And cars, they have a red light, but it's a beautiful mural, especially the mushroom house, it's kind of cool. One quick look at that mushroom house. And more of the downtown area here. Killwins, chocolate fudge and ice cream. And the town hall spa. I like that building. More sidewalks there. Another one of the alleys, so Van Pelt Alley. There's a little sidewalk show going on in there. Just place to sit down and relax. The taffy barrel. Old fashioned candies. All that good taffy in there. They can't have it. Apparently, they had a fire or something. Do the smoke and water damage. They are closed for further notice. And the truth is, you can smell burnt wood. Oh, it's a shame. No taffy. And one of the stores is Tasha's Teas. And they have some great uh, sweatshirts. Yes, I do have a beautiful daughter. I also have a gun, a shovel, and an alibi. And one that I like would be great for work. Uh, I've stopped listening. Why haven't you stopped talking? Mm. It says this one, but uh, I'll let you read that one yourself. Some great t shirts. Across the street there is the uh, Happy Troll. We're gonna head back to our car. We only ate half of our deli sandwich yesterday. So we're gonna sit out and eat. Meanwhile, here's a little bit more of the downtown area. There are no main big stores here. Everything's like a mom and pop store, which makes the town really quaint, really nice. It is a busy main road. A lot of trucks, a lot of campers. A lot of people coming to go to Beaver Island. And actually take your car over there on the ferry as we showed the other day 
and there were some people that were checking in and were getting their number. Over here at the townhouse, the bar has a balcony and someone enjoying the view. As we're walking, here's one of the historical society plaques. But this shows you a little bit more of the history of what it looked like many years ago. It's a very interesting town. Along the waterfront there, some beautiful, beautiful boats. More sidewalk sale going on. The empty band show, where the entertainment was the night before. Here they have a paddle boat going out. Looks like a bar on the water. Very cool. More of this beautiful downtown area. Little shopping strip. And that's where the Veterans Park is at the end of town. On the corner of the Villager Pub. Carries where we had dinner last night and a movie theater. Currently showing Barbie, Oppenheimer, and Blue Beetle. And walking along Main Street, we're gonna have our lunch at that picnic table. But I wanted to make sure I got the Charlevoix clock. This one is rather large, it's very cool. Even the uh, manhole covers are nautical themed. Have a sailboat and a lighthouse on it. It's very cool. Okay, slight change of plans. There was a bee at the picnic table. Bees will not do. So now we're moving back down somewhere else. Now the bee's following Lisa. That is Lisa in the background. So we found a different place to eat. Uh, the bee doesn't look like it's here. We're right by all the boats that I can't afford. And so we're going to have part two of this amazing thing. And I just want to say there's plenty more to come in this video. I thank you for coming along on a guest adventure so far. Or anyone's a guest with me. And stay tuned for some more. And on the waterfront is this memorial to submarines. Called Still on Patrol. And that's a look at the front of the memorial. It also features another American flag. I found this uh, duck casually waiting on the sea dew for a ride and a couple of his buddies gonna go out with him. Look at that. Isn't that cute? The water is clear. You can see down in it. Some growth down there. Very interesting looking. And you never have enough walking shots by the boats. It's a beautiful big harbor. Some great boats in here.
and we got more ducks and more sea dudes. They're very cute. And there's a nice splash pad at the building. It has some nice restrooms. That's where the uh, Beaver Island Boat Company is located in there. Beautiful brickwork, stonework, and up there is a picnic area. And all along the walkway on the beach are these hanging flowers. And each one is dedicated to somebody. This one's a Doug and Lisa Hill. And if you want to feed the fish, they have a pond for that. There's a lot of hungry fish. And okay, that fast swimmer, the really big one, he eats a lot. You can outswim the others when the food comes. There's a fish right there who's resting. And right there, two more are resting. They're not moving at all, they're just sleeping. Got some good uh, boating humor for you. What did the ocean say to the shore? Nothing, it's just waves. Hey, that's my kind of humor. Once again, the ferry arrived. This is about the time that we returned yesterday. They're offloading the people and the cars. There's a plaque for the Charlevoix Marina with boats and boats and boats. Everywhere you look, boats. And the ferry. Now loading up for the journey back to Beaver Island. They don't stay in port very long. Another placard for the multitude of vessels on Round Lake. Manistique is one of the early ferries. All the people piling in there. This is about the East Park Waterfront. Another one of my buddies. What are you doing? I see you lost a hand and I see somebody's changing to the ground here. Doesn't seem like a good idea. But, uh, hey, let's get a picture. There we go. Not the best selfie in the world, but it's going to have to do. And another look at the famous drawbridge. And there's a walkway underneath it, and we're going to take that. And there's a boat waiting. Well, there's them to raise it. They raise it every hour and on the half hour. Here's the walkway we're going to take. Interesting sign if you want to read it. Going over the bridge. It's quite wavy today. It's looking out towards Lake Michigan. 
the Edgewater Inn Hotel. And the boat waiting patiently for the bridge to open up. So let's go take a walk underneath the bridge. Hear the rumble of the cars over the back. We go back up. You can see the other side of the bridge. And of course, that one boat that's waiting. You're here in the summer. By the time the bridge is ready to open, there's a row of boats ready to go on. Got those red lights to show you. If you hit the bridge, if you're a large craft, smaller ones can obviously go underneath it at any time. It's a world famous weather vane, hotel, and restaurants. We didn't eat there this time, but we ate there uh, a few years ago. It was very good. Got some people walking across the bridge. <laughs> And I hear the bell. And the cross arms are going down. And people are hustling across the bridge. Side has been dropped just because we've got some stragglers. And to raise the uh, pedestrian gate for them. And another goblin. There we go. Better hurry up and I think it's going to hit him in the head. There we go. Now the bridge should be going up. Got that boat moving up. That can come in the other way. There we go. Bumpy ride. It's coming back down. channel still bouncing away it's heading out to Lake Michigan walking along the channel it's still a very breezy day Or 
confirmation, this one on the lower channel. Got some inf interesting information about some of the buildings over there. More about the bridges and the boats and the weather vane in. Weather vane being right there. And looking down the channel at the uh, lighthouse, these condominiums are here. And Lisa said that she wants one of these. So we're going to look into that. Uh, don't hold your breath, but we're going to look into that. There's a wine bar right next to the bridge and the channel called The View. And bridge level of the channel. And a view of the bridge. interesting there right there that goes down so you can't walk across the bridge when the bridge is raised it's a view of the uh, channel as we're walking across the bridge now it's one of those vacations with my wife where we walk and we walk and we walk but I don't seem to lose any weight I don't understand it Now he's jogging and he looks good. That's a different view of the Edgewater Inn. On the other side of the bridge, the Weather Vane Terrace, and the restaurant. This is the Point North Inn, right on the main street. Hotel Earl. You can go on the roof of that. You have a great view of Round Lake and the channel. That's the uh, end of the Edgewater Inn in the very busy Main Street. And as we were walking closer to the uh, points north end, I happen to notice it has an indoor outdoor pool. That's pretty cool. Furthermore, they have a jacuzzi in every room, fireplaces, full kitchens, heated pool. We're walking back over the bridge and see the Emerald Isle as they're still loading up, getting ready for another trip back to Beaver Island. It's looking towards Ron Lake. Better view of a view. <laughs> See what I did there? Charlevoix County Sheriff. On duty, checking us out. Find a happy troll valley and pub. Oh, there was a curb there. Seems like I missed another curb. Uh, my grandmother's table, bakery, cafe, and coffee bar. The breakfast and lunch place. And down the side street. A couple of cool motorcycles. And then this nice looking place is Park Place. Of Charlevoix. So another nice place to stay. That's right on the water. We're paralleling the channel here. So we're at the uh, Charlevoix Historical Society Museum, which is in this beautiful old house. It's a maritime history of Charlevoix. And it's a museum and a gift shop. All right, inside the museum, what do you know? First thing, I found a train. The first three rooms 
our restored Victorian era rooms. David the curator told us that at one point in the 1930s, which this building was turned into apartments and they took these racks down, the archways, and they stored them in, a, in the attic. And they found them and found out that they were built here in Charlevoix. So they reinstalled them. They're beautiful. Beautiful tile around that fireplace. Old pump organ. The entryway. Take a look at the stairway up, but they've got it closed off. They don't want you to go up there. Oh, you can still see that there's a number three on the room way up there. But it was the Harsha family of Charlevoix house. That's what it looks like outside. Nice drum. Got John Hirsch's name on it. Another organ. Complete set of the Encyclopedia Britannica, 11th edition. You'll have to look that up to find out what year that is. I do not know. Maybe in a stroller. And along the walls, the history of Charlevoix. So if you really want to learn the history of Charlevoix, there's a lot to read here. So you're going to have to come and visit the uh, museum yourself. And here's a very unique curio cabinet. More of the history. And this was the kitchen area, but they're using it, they said, for an office, and storage. It's got a lot of utensils and a beautiful old stove. And off the side, and down the uh, ramp, is the history of the marine life here, of ships. You have a lighthouse light. Again, this actually this is called the Maritime History of Charlevoix. And a lot to read, a lot to see. So you're just going to have to come and see it yourself. Trust me, you could spend a lot of time here. As David the Curator said, there's a lot of information in this small space. And it's quite amazing. Great artwork, great pictures. Information about the Coast Guard in Charlevoix. There's other rooms. Look at these models. Prototype of a foster boat company cabin cruiser. American flag. Belonged to the United States Coast Guard cutter Mesquite. This is the Hum Lake Steamer. It ran between Charlevoix and East Jordan. And 
train. Who doesn't love a train? There's information about the bridges and the trestles. And a lot of information to read. The train doesn't run through Charlevoix anymore. Display of Coast Guard memorabilia. The bicentennial tower made out of looks like Potaski stones. It's incredible. All the way to the seal. It's an older picture of the old waterfront. And then complex that we saw from the ferry as we were coming in turns out to be the cement plant at South Point. And there is a current picture of it. This was in the museum as well. And shows you overview of it. It's a huge complex. So that explains that mystery. Outside the museum are a couple churches. Church down at the corner. That's the Christ Episcopal Church with a backup of cars trying to get on the street. found ourselves inside Killen's ice cream and candy. And I'm going to get a Dusty Miller, it's called. I'll show you that in a minute. What better way to end a video than some nice Killen's ice cream? A Dusty Sunday, which has ice cream, chocolate syrup, whipped cream, a cherry, a waffle bowl sprinkled with malt powder. So thanks for coming along on this adventure, on a guest adventure, where everyone's a guest, including me. I'll see you on the next video. And the bad part of every vacation is the trip back home. Three hours and 47 minutes to home. But I'll spare you that video, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for coming along on a guest adventure where everyone is a guest, including me.